Hello everyone, I'm Jeremy Allen, Multimedia Editor for The Johnsonian, and I'm here to talk to you about the new Facebook profile timeline. Now, I'm sure if you've been RSSing into multiple news feeds, you've probably heard a lot of information about timeline, and I'm here just to show you some key points, some highlights, and why I think that this is a great um, undertaking by Facebook. First, I'll go to my profile page, and as you can see here, what I get is something completely different than what I'm used to. For one thing, you notice a cover, right? So this is um, separate from your profile picture. You'll still have a profile picture that will identify you whenever you post, but your cover allows you to have more customization. Um, you can change your uh, cover, so if I were to pick one of my photos, um, I could quickly pull up this graffiti I did on Facebook. Um, right now, it's really difficult to drag and change and edit the size of this image, but once again, this is still beta, um, so there's still issues with fun full functionality. Um, and hopefully that will be changed in the future. I'm sure it will. Here is a quick little synopsis of my About Me. So, I study a computer science at Winthrop, and you know, and it lives engaged from... Um, if you click on the About, what it'll do, though, is pull up a full About Me and have all the normal information um, that the previous About Me or your main info section of your profile page you used to have. Here, same thing is true with friends. Um, it'll pull up your friends in a special um, window and photos. Also, you can click down and get more options. Notes, music, which I'm sure most of you have noticed that Facebook and Spotify have really been integrating um, and coming together and showing you um, what you've been recently listening to. And this is an interesting new feature that Facebook hopes to expand with Hulu and Netflix and show also what you've been watching and probably with uh, other news sites, what you've been reading and stuff like that. Who knows the full functionality to come with. There's some legal issues when it comes to like Netflix that uh, Facebook is still dealing with, but if those are their end goals, to be able to display pretty much what you're watching and what you're listening to to the world so that you can share your interest, which is a very neat feature. As we continue to scroll down, we have uh, recent activities common on your um, Facebook profile page. Also, your update status. And as you notice here, your update status begins to show the whole quote-unquote timeline aspect. Here on my update status, it pump, it is connected to a dot on the timeline. If I were to create a new status, um, filming a video. And if I were to post it, it will be added as the newest thing on my um, timeline. And you can always edit or remove from the timeline. Um, also, you can feature on your timeline. I could make this post of being a Facebook developer. I could feature it and make it a full event across and make certain things that I'm particularly proud of stand out to my friends. And this is a very cool functionality that uh, once again allows me to share my life even more with the people and share certain things about my life even more. Now as we continue down, you'll notice that the things just jump off the timeline, left and right, which is an interesting way to show a lot of content and a lot more about the content in little space. Um, as you can see to your right, I have sort of like a quick jump link. So I could go to September, and now I'm in September 2011. I could jump down to 
2009, right? So the last post I posted on 2009 was a link of a surprised kitty. Um, apparently it made my day that day. If I continue scrolling down, I'll let you notice this. This is similar to the um, making an event, um, featuring an event, but you can manually do these. If you if this event is not on your newsfeed, you can manually do this by setting up a milestone and experience. Um, got a license, learned a language, or other life event. Here you can see this is the day me and my fiance got engaged. Um, you can add jobs. Um, you can add relational milestones, you can add uh, living milestones, you can add life events. You can also um, you can also from here quickly add status photos and your current location. Um, and like I said, this pretty much now your whole Facebook goes down to when you started 2007 if I were to scroll all the way down to the bottom Um, you'll see that I joined Facebook June 1st, 2007. If I continue on down past the dot dot dot, which if I were to click this ellipse here, it will show all stories from 2007. This is just a shortened version, but it would expand all those stories. Coming down here, though, you'll see how many friends I added in 2007 and post and who posted on my timeline during that period you also see photos important photos of 2007 groups from 2007 events and likes from 2007 as we continue on down people who have been made your relatives or your family will show up as being born on your timeline savannah who is not a sister but is a been accepted as a sister uh, request on Facebook was born in 1992 um, and if I continue on down it comes to when you were born It's where your timeline starts you could add a photo which I would have if I had a nice baby picture of me but I do not and it allows you to literally track your life and you can add whatever you want at any time period up until the present day, which is pretty cool. So if I wanted to try to make a memento, this allows me to make a digital memento of my life. Um, another thing is you can go into 2011 and or August. I can go into yeah 2009, and if I were to scroll down to the ellipses. Real quick, if it will if it'll scroll down for me. And view show all stories from 2009. It breaks it down by month. So this is December 2009. This is November 2009. So like I was saying before, it the timeline shows only a small fraction of everything. Um, and even this timeline doesn't show everything. Here I have a post, a cafe, cafe world, you know, um, and you can connect those. And now I'm in September. And you can also show all stories from October 2009. So if there's even more, um, you just keep on going farther down the line until you see everything. Now, some extra little information. I can update my info here um, if I click this and it, it brings me to my about me section which allows me to quickly update that info. It's fairly normal and um, similar to the old system but I can view activity. Now only I can. I'm not sure if there'll be certain privacy changes in the future that will allow me to display this to everyone but for right now I can uh, view my current activity from year by month by day of the month and if I had to scroll down to 2008 or 
June 2009, I now see all of my activity during that month. Similar to on my uh, timeline, I can expand it. This allows me to directly look at it, and I can go here and hide stuff. So if there's something I'm particularly embarrassed about or never wanted on my timeline that I don't want people to see, this is my quick and easy way to get rid of stuff, to hide it, to delete it, and or to make everyone know that this occurred. I am particularly happy about me getting engaged. Well, I can go to June 15th. Well, it's not on here. I could go to that specific time and make it big, right? So these are cool features. Now, right now, you couldn't go to my Facebook page and see it. Um, only developers can see other developers uh, can see other developers timeline pages as of right now. Um, I'll show you this. This is someone who is not a developer and when I go to look at her I see her regular Facebook page and she doesn't have a developer Facebook page but this is what the old one looks like. If I were to go to someone who is a developer with a timeline Facebook page I can now see it, but if you were to look at Devon's or mine, you would probably not be able to see the timeline feature. Well, that's pretty much all of the um, newest and greatest things about Facebook's timeline. I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, some people, I'm sure, will probably not enjoy it, but you know, I think they're doing good things to um, better themselves. You know, with face with competition like Google, it can either go really badly or really well. And I think it's they've done really well. Um, now, whenever I became a developer, they said that the release date is October 10th. Now, this is hopefully October 10th, so in a few days everyone should have the option to switch um, and then I'm sure after a while they'll make it permanent but we're not a hundred percent sure due to some legal logistics with timelines.com whether or not this will happen or not well guys um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to show you more cool and new things in the world of tech this is Jeremy Allen saying goodbye